I am Lee Keckner. I am married to a semi-famous actor, and I'm a stay-at-home mother of four. At 43 years old, I need to find time for me. Everyone is chasing their passion, and I'm ready to step into mine. So, I have created a backyard talk show. This does not have to be perfect. Now my husband's coming in. <laughs> this is absolutely the backyard talk show. Video journal, Monday morning. I am going to reinvent myself. I mean, my husband Dave is an actor and he does it all the time. Jobs come and go, he has to be a new character and there's never a steady paycheck and the stress of that can be crippling. Well, for a lot of people it is. I mean, the whole country doesn't know where their next paycheck is coming from. I want to figure out how to make this reinvention process better for all of us. What? I was just working a little bit. I'm going to let you mm. let the kids away. Did you lock the door? My cupcakes are ready! Even if you don't make the cupcakes yourself, make sure to put them on your own platter so your guest thinks that you did. I'm doing my show today on reinventing yourself. Mm -hmm. And well, your big thing is that you are a writer. Yes, kind of a closet writer. I think when you say something out loud, yeah. you throw it out to another person in the universe and you really own it. And that's scary. It's really scary. It's very scary for your to really open up about what it is that you love and want to do. How do, how do I look so far? You look fantastic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what the name of your website is. Vicariousgirl.blogspot.com. Where do you go in Asia Pacific? Anywhere in Asia. I've been talking about makeup. Now, when you are there, are you the tallest person? Absolutely. In the town? Yeah. I always tell people I'm big in Asia, and I'm not talking about my popularity. <laughs> I think it's important to feel your best, and part of feeling good for me is wearing lipstick. I make sure to have one in five different areas in my house, so no matter what I'm doing, it's ready, and I don't miss a beat. I like to be open and try new things. I've jumped out of an airplane, I taught scuba diving on the island of Guam, and one day, I might even learn how to knit. This week, I tried something new. Check it out. Ooh. Here's my chance. Come on, girl, let's go out here, dance on the floor. I know a lot of my mom friends are like pole dancing. That's for those crazy girls in magazines. You're gonna find you're gonna find everyday women taking classes for fun, for fitness, um, to kind of reclaim their feminine movement. Okay, so Who this puts is not these on? this is not the uniform for class. First of all, okay. um, so I like to cover this area. No all right, you'll be actually surprised and amazed at what your body can do. Yeah. Will this improve my sex life? Lift your head, look back. Relax your jaw. <laughs> you start to develop a little more intuition. You step into your body. Like you're really connecting to your body. Yeah. I saw you judging me. I saw you judging me. <laughs> the classes kind of take on um, sort of a feminine moving meditation type vibe. Where's Good. the ground? <laughs> I like how she's already talking like this. I can't help it. <laughs> this enough would be for my husband. He might be happy I came after all. Like when you love your body, your body starts to love you back. He rocked <laughs> We're connecting to what God has given us. Exactly. All right, connect me to this pool. What do I need to prepare for upside down? You gotta get some booty shorts on. Oh gosh. This is the hardest part for me because I don't like to show my thigh area and she made me put on booty shorts so I could stick to the pole. This is like seriously advanced too, by the way. Good. Grip with your knees. <laughs> And then you're going to push your chest up first. Arch push, up. Up. push up at my what? Am I your favorite student so far? <laughs> One through ten, how did I do? Eleven. Off the chart. Push up. Good. Pull your feet to the left. Set forward the right foot. <laughs> you were born to pole dance. Mm. <laughs> Finally, I found my passion. Yeah. Maybe.
supposed to have bagels or something to go with it? I'll just caveman. And you won't care. even go. Do I have mascara smell? No. You look, I just you look great. It's beautiful. Are we starting? Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I am reinventing myself. Today, being on a hit show for how many years did Full House run? We did 192 episodes, and it ran from 87 to 95. Dave's a huge inspiration to me, just that pitches they're constantly coming to him. I didn't know it was a huge him. inspiration. You are the first time huge? I'm, it's the first time Oh, I'm, that's so sweet. She's, she said I'm you a huge, feel lazy a lot of sometimes. things, but <laughs> inspiration has not been the word. Uh, my producer just whispered in my ear that I need to get to the point, but I don't know what that means. Feed the idea of anybody else saying, how do I go about achieving my dreams, but that you want to talk to them, I'm not that one. You understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I just wanted to tell you, I know what you what you're wanting to do, um, but remember what you're thinking. <laughs> My whole point of this is that I think so many people feel stuck, and so many people feel alone in their journey. And, and if you're really passionate about something, I find that other people will rally around you. Just don't be scared to take some risks. Go back to that point, Lee. What? That's a very important point. What? What she just said. I was running a company in which they do a lot of high-end output in the still photography industry. And just making that big break, uh, literally this week is my first week. Today is um, your first day not going to the office? Yep. Congratulations! Thank I'm you. so happy you're here! Thank you. Oh, it's, it's a big day. An amazing it's a day for day. us. Day. Yeah. Did Wait. he encourage you? Wait, what? I'm sorry. Not talk about it. I don't want to so keep talking over them. No, no. So he can help you understand how one Help me, help me. And <laughs> say. <laughs> okay? Now get, do that real quick. <laughs> hey, do that, would you? When you strip it all down, you, yeah. what do you have? Um, all I have is a passion for what's going on in my own head. And somehow I've turned that into a business. Yeah. We all are here for a reason, that we're mm -hmm. supposed to do something before we die to, to leave with the world and to share with the world. Yeah, it's just about being unique, you know, and not be afraid to just be completely naked. Strip through the fear strip and be through. completely naked. I love that. Okay. I think Absolutely. we should disrobe <laughs> and get in the pool. I skipped breakfast so I'd have a flat stomach. Oh. Oh. When you make a spill and you don't have a lot of time to clean it up, call your dogs in. People have already written in questions on my website. I'm so excited. Would you read the first one, Melissa? I have just turned 40 years old and I've never been married. How would you suggest I meet men? Oh, good question, Catherine. You have to be very clear what you want. Get online, narrow it down right to the guy you want and be wide open to the men that come your way because when you are open with your heart and your mind, people feel it and you're gonna attract those men in. Best of luck to you, Catherine. What fun stuff can I do with my kids that doesn't cost a ton? I say grab a picnic blanket, go to a local park, and listen to them. I mean, that's truly what they want is our attention. How do I feed a family with very different tastes? I have four kids and they all like different things. So I let each of them pick what they'd like one night. And then I also throw a night in of trying something new. Thank you so much for your viewer questions and I'm tickled pink you asked. And thank you, Melissa. Today I learned to reinvent yourself, you must be fearless and naked. Because when you are at your most vulnerable, that's when you can bring it. It's where I want to be. It's where I want to be. Would you pour me another cup, please?